In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a Cloudmersive connector action which you can use to convert your legacy Excel documents, meaning those in XLS 1997 to 2003 format, into CSV format in Power Automate. It's super fast and easy to use this connector, so I'll jump right into the demo and show you how it works. To start, I'm clicking Create and selecting the Instant Cloud Flow option. After giving my flow a name, I'm clicking on the option to trigger it manually, and then clicking Create again to head to the Flow Diagram page. From here, my first step is to get my demo XLS file, which I'll do using a SharePoint Get File Content action. For this action, I just need to configure my site address and then use the file picker to navigate to my file folder. Once the file name populates, I'm ready to incorporate the Cloudmersive connector action and make my XLS to CSV conversion. After clicking New Step, I'm typing Cloudmersive into the operation search bar. From here, I'm selecting the document conversion connector with the light green logo from the list of options below. Once I do that, I jump straight to the actions list, where I'll eventually search for the XLS conversion connector. If it's your first time using this connector, however, you'll initially get the usual Power Automate connector login prompts. To use this connector for free like I am, you just need to register a free account on our website, cloudmersive.com, and then copy your free tier API key into a clearly labeled field once you're prompted to do so. After you do that and name your connection, you won't have to worry about doing that again, and you'll have a limit of 800 free API calls per month with no additional commitments. Moving on, from the actions list, I just need to type convert Excel XLS in the search bar and the correct option will come up below. Once I have the connector action opened up, I only have two request parameters to satisfy. This includes my demo file content, which I can easily parse through the dynamic content window, and my file name, which I'll just quickly copy and paste from the previous step for the purposes of this demonstration. Now that my connector action is configured, I can use output dynamic content in a create file operation however I want. If I create a new file with a CSV extension, my original XLS spreadsheet will save as a new Excel file with simplified CSV formatting. If I create a new file with a TXT extension, I'll end up with tabular data in a simple, comma-separated text file instead. I'm going to demonstrate with the latter option, so I'm quickly setting that operation up before I save and test my flow. After my flow finishes saving, I'm clicking on the test button in the top right corner, confirming my connections and running my flow once it's ready. After it finishes running, I'm jumping over to my file's new folder and opening my new text file with CSV formatting. I now have a nice, clean data array in CSV format, which I can now store to parse elsewhere as needed. With my test complete, we've reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, feel free to check out dozens of additional Cloudmersive connector action demonstrations on our channel.